policing the police every single day. And doing what the Charlotte County Sun newspaper and local TV stations won't do every single day. Policing the police every single day. And doing what the Charlotte County Sun newspaper and local TV stations won't do every single day. <clears throat> hey, Charlotte County, this is Charlotte County Cop Watch. And we have to do a report on this COVID-19 uh hoax that they're uh, doing on the world especially america or the, or the congress whatever you want to call it it's all bullshit uh but what we did get out of it is is amazing as you're reading uh, uh as you know one of the big things that i do for cop watch is to do records requests and uh this uh prick as you know sheriff county sheriff bill permel the felon himself uh, third degree felon uh, has an illegal list of gun owners and is illegally profiling them and he's a misdemeanor uh um, he's committed that uh, crime by uh, not giving us records. In fact, he, he didn't give us any records that we're going to show you here. Uh, but we now have definitive proof for the first time in America that this past 50 years has all been about policing for profit. Uh, because, uh, you know, our founding fathers fought for freedom not to give out goddamn, you know, make everything illegal and arrest everybody for everything, give tickets for everything, and etc., uh, and uh, and this is the first time in America where we actually got uh, emails, uh, uh, inner office memorandums, just freaking on and on. Uh, I got all 250 emails of all the police and the sheriffs in Florida, and they're telling their people stand down. I got video of Charlotte County Sheriff deputies telling me they uh, this dictator told them to stand down. In fact, the rest are down to two yesterday, and they let one person go on their own recognizance. That is history making for Florida. And why the hell weren't they doing this before? You know, if they can fuck you and your family, they don't give a shit. But if they might get fucked with the virus, wow, isn't that weird? Then they give a shit. That's that's just bizarre, right? So. We're going to go through these emails. Uh, I'm giving these out to everybody. I'm trying to get the press and the uh, TV on this shit. Uh, but this is heavy duty, man. This is absolute proof that uh, this bullshit they've been doing to us for years is policing for profit big time. And how do you like getting uh, insulted like that here? Uh, here is uh, Eustis, Florida. Uh, this sounds like cops. Traffic stops. Uh, please direct all your members to limit their contact with them to conclude traffic stops to routine minor violations. Unfortunately, this is not a time where business as usual. You are product. I've been saying it for a long time. He just fucking admitted you are product. That is disgusting. So um, here's here's another one. This was another interesting one we got. Uh, they admit that the stay-at-home order is not enforceable. There is no law backing it. I love this guy. I complimented him. I said, thanks for believing in the Constitution. Uh, here's another one. This is, uh, you're only allowed to prepare lunch. Uh, this is all the stuff that they're telling them to do. I mean, they're freaking out so bad. 
Make the right choices so you can go home at the end of your shift. You know, who cares if we used to fuck you and your family over every single goddamn day, but we want to make sure we go home. Uh, and uh, think before you, I mean, just, I'm going to do a link, uh, Google Drive, so you guys can see all this shit. This is just, wow. They are telling their people, unless you absolutely have to, don't fucking touch anybody, arrest anybody, give a ticket, anything. It's just amazing. First time, uh, and here's the first one that we got today that just knocked it out of the park. Non-criminal, proactive, related traffic citations will not be issued. Uh, verbal warnings are authorized. However, do not exchange documents. I mean, just look at the list here. Just Woo! I mean, man, this is the first one that knocked it off. Like I said, we asked all 250, and then they just started coming, and we were flipping out. Uh, also, too, uh, this I think this is a sign that it's in their ranks, and that they know they can wipe out a bunch of their cops. This is uh, just, if you even have any symptoms, fuck that. Don't even come in. They're telling a lot of the cops don't even come into the office. It's, it's amazing. Uh... And this is the one where, yeah, they're pretty much shutting down all offices. Charlotte County Sheriff Bill Permal did, from what I know, and I did a video the other day, did shut down all offices. Uh, they used to do 130 tickets a day. And uh, we have 170 uh, retirement community, man. 170,000 people here. He was doing 130 tickets a day. He's down to 13. And I think it might be less. Like I said, the arrests were down to two the other day. Um, so there is something happening and going on. Um, where's another one? Uh, pandemic and place so we continue to provide best possible customer service of what? Of fucking you over for victimless crimes? Uh, so it is paramount. Remember the temporary written directive will be. Oh, here's a good one. Remember this is a temporary written directive. We will returning to our stellar level of service as soon as possible, meaning fucking over people for victimless crimes as usual, policing for profit with their road pirates. Wow. Um uh keep social distance, uh make physical contact if possible. Um uh, where there was Oh, here's another one. This is damn good. In Look at this. It's, it's bold and underlined. This does not mean the officers will be proactive in other areas related to job performance. Ding, 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 ding. That is the secret word for the more people you fuck over, the more money and advancement you get. You stupid motherfuckers. Wow. So, uh, yeah, that was good stuff. What else do we got? Uh, we got a ton of uh, PDFs. That was uh, screen grabs. Administrative order. Where was this out of? Uh, Hardy County. Uh, this is basically saying, uh, eh, we're going to try to release as many people as we can from jail, and we don't want any more in jail unless it's really bad. So they know that if this shit gets into jail, it's going to go bad, really bad. And they will be sued to fucking hell. Because more than half the people in there are in there for victimless crimes. Uh, they are nonviolent. Uh, what else? Uh, Riding on to attempt to have parties involved. All traffic limited. Serious violations. One of them actually literally did admit if there is a victim. Duh! You have to have a victim have a crime. So they literally did admit, I mean, there literally has to be serious violation and or a victim. Duh. Running the stop sign, you know, turn signal, no brake light, all that bullshit to give you an excuse that I smell weed. Eh. Um, so, uh, uh, this, it's, I mean, just, it's just, wow. It's like the mother law. We were all freaking out. People that are, we wanted these documents today were just like, what? This is proof. This is time for change. These documents prove it. It was all about policing for profit here in Florida and across the country. Uh, it, it says right here again, uh, sp uh, utilizing, unless there is a really bad thing, don't fuck with anybody. Don't ticket them. Don't arrest them. Social distancing to reduce the potential of virus spreading in the jail duh um uh it's it's just like wow man wow uh so this is just on and on here's here's some more sitting in fernanda beach um 
of an Ava in these cases, which means they're operating uh, DeSantis order sensitive to our personal safety concerns. Fuck you. You know, when there's not a virus, we're just, we'll just fuck you and your family over all day long, but uh, eh, not when it comes to us. Um, so, yeah, it's... Wow, that's just such so much good ch- Chiefs memo, and that's another that's another thing. They're calling it uh, all these different things, and and you know people that get records like me, if you uh, know that if you don't call it the right thing, they won't give it to you because because uh, they're assholes. So now we know all the keywords to ask for to try to find this shit. Um, uh, conference calls, uh, shrimp festival. Sufficient disinfectant, remain personally vigilant, and so yeah, they are freaking out. Um, c- c- canceling uh, training, just just on and on. Uh, what else we got? Yeah, here's that one where I did the screen gram. This is not a time for business as usual. You are business. You are just a uh, uh, product. Woohoo! Um, non-emergency related common sense after speaking uh, a lot of these i mean to just make it arrest you have to call your supervisor uh i think there's some good stuff in here uh and, yeah and the, here it is spreading into jail they are freaking out they know they could be sued to hell if that shit gets in the jail uh what is this one um this uh, there will be limited citizens in the lobby. Uh, exposure as well. You roll call. Uh, they don't want to meet. Uh, continue to issue uh, NTAs. That's the one uh, where you, you show up later. <laughs> That's funny. We'll still get ya. Uh, it's it's just on and on. What is this one? This is uh, from here on out. Planning on making fistfuls meet. You must contact the captain that, like I said, shutting it down. As you see, key. It's, this is Key West Sheriff's Office. Uh, we got some more. We're almost done. Uh, we got uh, uh, Word documents. And, and again, this is where, uh, actually, I think I did see some of this. Uh, yeah, we did see these in pictures. And like I said, I will, uh, um, I will uh, put these in Google Drive. Here's one we didn't get a picture of. Uh, ton of Indian Rizzo Shores. Uh, non officers and nurse. Discretion to limit their traffic related enforcement to criminal offenses. Get it? Right there. Criminal. Meaning there is a so there is a victim. Hello. Alright. Everything else, fuck it. So then what the fuck were you doing for 50 years, you fucking motherfuckers? So, uh, right there is more proof of this bullshit. Uh, what else? And this one we saw before, too. So, there you go. That That is uh, that is it. That is proof that this has all been about policing for profit. Right there. Limit related enforcement, criminal traffic offenses, reckless DUI. Just, it's on and on. I, I can't take it anymore. That's why I've been doing this for seven years, going on eight Remember what our founding fathers said. Take a goddamn country back. I think right now is the time to do that because this is out of control. You're a frog in a pot. You're, the, the water's gone. You're on the bottom frotting. Get the hell out and fight. Can I ask a question? Yeah, how are you? Not too bad. So, so what is legal? What can we still do? As far as quarantine? Yeah, we gotta be careful though. <laughs> oh yeah, six feet. All right, that's right. Uh, you're allowed to work out. Right. You can go everywhere, but places that are closed, basically. It's, so it. As far as us enforcing it, we're not right. really. Like we're definitely not arresting anyone. On it. That's, Thank that's, you, Jesus, dude. He put the wrong statute on the Facebook. Yeah. Can you tell him that? Come on. The the one from. Yeah, he put two fifty twenty or something, which doesn't exist. I know that we're being told specifically just not to arrest anybody. I'm just kind of educated. I would shake your hand, but we can't. (laughs) Okay, so are are the arrests down? Uh, I've been watching the numbers, yes and no. Yes, I would say yes. Okay. Activity is down because we're kind of chilling too. You guys got to have it in the ranks, don't you? He won't even give me the records on who's got it. For what, activity-wise? 
Well, in the rinks, do, do people have it at the sheriff's office? As far as confirmed, not that I've heard. Right, all right. Not that I've heard. And if anyone is even like a little bit sick, yeah, the, they get quarantined. Yeah, right away. I, Northport did give me their paperwork. Whoa, you are correct. Dude, if you even been near it, yeah. you go home. We've had some like circumstances where we've encountered like sick people. And she then, really has to turn in here, seriously? Yeah. That's bizarre. Because but then that deputy who was involved with right, that, we right. just like stay separated. Right. So it's really like they're being extra safe about it. Which, All right. Which is good. So, so I'm sure you already know who I am. So that's my that's my example that that kind of to me proves that it's dude. It's kind of policing for profit. I mean, when you guys aren't getting sick, you write 130 tickets a day. We pulled the we pulled the numbers, and then right now you're only doing 13 tickets a day. Me personally, I don't write a lot of tickets. All right. Well, do you get what I'm saying? I mean, when you guys aren't worried about getting the virus, you write a lot each day. And then when you are worried about getting the virus, then there's only 13. Which I think it should be that way. I mean, to have a victim, you have to have... To have a, a crime, you have to have a victim, right? So when you're when you're doing tickets, who's the victim? Well, you have the state of Florida. And a lot of the, the traffic enforcement stuff is right. for the crashes. Because right. we worry a lot about crashes and high crash intersections, so a lot right. of time we're focused on our activities in those areas to right. deter like crashes and stuff like that. Right. So it's more of an education thing. At least that's my. I do. I will be honest. I do see a lot of warnings on there right now. I got to go back farther to see if they're, you know. But then I see some of the people are still arresting. In my opinion, is still a victimless crime where you know there, there's no victim. They just had drug paraphernalia or they had drugs. So. That, that's you could be giving them a death sentence, putting them into a jail. Which if it gets a virus, dude, they're screwed. Yeah, but well, that's why what I say we're doing right now is we're you're we're, mellowing down. A lot of the little stuff is just okay. You're just say go home. Yeah, or you get like a court day. All right, and the enforcement with the DeSantis thing. That's I was doing a story on that today. I was asking you know if people think it's good, bad. I like. I don't know what your opinion is. What DeSantis did. DeSantis said the people that are high risk. You stay home, the rest of us get back to work. Does that make sense? I understand that. Yeah. yeah. And if they leave the house, they should be charged with uh, the fine and jail. What do you think? Well, well they're not a lot doing a lot of charging and fining. That's just... Right. I know. To put them in jail is, is bad. But, yeah. but you get what I'm saying, right? Why, why kill all of America's economy to save a few people? People die every day, right? Yeah. By the way... Uh, uh, somebody just contacted me because you already know what I do. They thought that fire was at our airport. That was at RSW, right? The one where all the cars are on fire? I don't really know. You didn't see that? Dude, RSW, somebody lit the cars on fire and it just... Tons of cars burned. Really? And the sheriff was saying, you guys are out there and you're dumping water with your one of five helicopters. Oh, yeah, I saw everything on that. We were, we were bringing water over there. Correct. Are you the one that just came in hot, fast? Okay, all right. So you're off duty. You're just running, or you're. Okay, all right, all right. Got it. So I didn't. I didn't know if somebody called on me because while I was walking, a supposedly a Punta Gorda cop said you were too close. I'm like, what? I'm walking and doing press. They're both allowed. Okay. And are you a cop? And he ran. He just went. So I don't know if he was. And if you say you're a cop and you're not, is that a chargeable offense? Uh, if you're impersonating a cop, it is chargeable. There you go. And he and he ran away. So. If I get you the video, can you see? What was he trying to do? He just said, hey, I'm a cop. Oh, he was like, "You're. what are you doing here? You're too close to uh, that guy back there. I'm like, no, I'm not. And he's going, I'm a cop. I'm like, uh, really? Maybe he's off duty. I don't know. Well, I, I don't know either. But anyway, so anytime I see you guys, I'm going to ask what you're doing. You are totally fair. You did answer like another guy did at the beach uh, where, like you said, you guys were told, mellow down. Because you don't need to get the virus, I don't need to get. You guys could literally be spreaders, right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Families can get it. We bring it to our homes. So. But you do got to agree, like, like Trump and uh, actually Rush Limbaugh has been killing Trump lately. You, you don't fucking kill the whole economy to save a few, do you? Is that stupid? I know the UK, from what I read, their outlook is not like that. Like keep the, the at-risk people at home and let everyone else do their thing. Doesn't but that I'm make not sense? Sure if they're still doing that or how it's working out. It's something that has never happened before, so there's right. different ways of dealing with it. Well, I'm 55. I will tell you this. Dude, we've never did this in history. This is stupid, stupid, stupid. Yeah. Okay? Stupid. You don't kill your whole economy to save a few people. Dude, people die from car accidents. Should we ban cars? 
right? Yeah, I mean, it's just on and on. Fluenza. Influenza is called the flu 20,000 die a year. Should we shut the America down every year for that? Oh. Exactly. So anyways, you already know what they're finding. You, you want the card or no? All right. Well, did you ever see the new card? You know I'm running for sheriff, right? Uh, <laughs> and you know I'm not going to win. As a write-in, yeah. as a write-in, somebody's got to poke the bear, right? Yeah, exactly. Thank you. All right, man, you were awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Sir? So, so what happens if I do, I'm doing a story and people go to the beach. So what happens if they do go to the beach? Uh, we just direct, let them know that, you know, because of the virus and everything, right. that we're just trying to restrict all that just so we don't keep spreading. Right. Uh, Even the if they're staying virus. social distance? Uh, yeah, they just don't want anybody on the beach because that's right. just why they tell us. Okay, so if, if, if they did stay, then what do you guys do? Do you trespass them, fine them, arrest uh, them? We, first we'll just ask them to leave. Right. You know, we don't trespass for anything, and then until it becomes a, uh, like a repetitive issue, right. then we'll take further action that way. All right. I heard there was a fine. Have you heard how much they're going to fine? No, I haven't heard that at all. All right. Then what if you have to take a crap? What do you do? This is... I literally have to take a dump. There's other people trying to take a dump, too. Did, did they lock the building? Everything's locked. Uh, I, you'll have to contact the county for that. That's kind, that's kind of like a medical emergency issue, right? Yeah. Could be. I, I guess. I don't know. I mean, so is that considered a facility? If I, can I poop in the woods, or or that's illegal too? That's yeah, uh, illegal too. <laughs> so, you have to contact the parks department. Wow, yeah. this is crazy. All right. Uh, uh, I, by the way, uh, okay. Did they tell you guys to stand down on uh, tickets and uh, um, arrests and stuff like that? Uh, for the most part, yeah. Okay. Not everything, but wow. Just reducing. Very. Finally. Okay, what about jail? Are they finally talking about possibly releasing? Did you see Rikers got 39 people, man? I, I, I have no idea about the jail, what they're doing there. How many are sick at the sheriff's office? Uh, none that I know of. All right. I don't know of any. But, so for the jail, you haven't heard if they're going to start letting people out for I victimless crimes? Enough. Right. All right. Wow. You get, you're actually fair. So you, you, so you do know who I am or not yet? No. All right. So, yeah. I'm, can I give you my card? Sure. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm a reporter for Cop Watch. So, yeah, so we're doing a story on what you guys are going to do. Are you going to arrest them, beat them, tase them? Uh, they, they are saying on the news that you're going to fine them, that the magistrate, the kangaroo court's going to decide how much to fine them. I haven't heard any of that, so I couldn't tell you. That. Right, all right. So you uh, what? You must be brand new then? or? No, no, I've been around for a little while. Just, they just haven't released right. anything to us yet. All right, and by the way, I know we need cops, just not corrupt ones, so I do stories on the corrupt ones, and uh, you passed with flying colors. Thank you very much. All right. Yep. Hey, Sheriff County. This is Sheriff County Cop Watch. I am using any video here with under fair use. If you uh, have criticism, reporting, teaching, etc., and please donate. I do not make money from YouTube, and uh, there are different ways to donate in the uh, video links. Thanks.